If you're looking for a way to export Office 365 mailboxes to PST files, this video guide is for you. In order to achieve that, I'll use a native eDiscovery tool. Before I start I have to mention that the export tool works best on Internet Explorer. Other browsers may require an installation of a ClickOnce extension. Let's get started then. First I have to log into my tenant and access the admin center. Now I go to Security and Compliance Center. Here I start with setting permissions for my account. I go to Permissions, click on eDiscovery Manager and continue by clicking the Edit button. I add myself as a member of the eDiscovery Administrator role group. This way I'll have access to every eDiscovery case and search, even if I'm not assigned to them. Time to save. Now that I have the required permissions, I can go to Content Search and start a new search. I could also create a new eDiscovery case, which would enable me to put mailboxes and signs on hold. But as I only need to export the mailboxes, I prefer the option which requires less clicking. After naming my new search, I can decide whether I want to search all mailboxes or choose only specific ones. I can also export the data from all public folders. E-Discovery doesn't let me choose a specific public folder, but I can filter them by using keywords and conditions on the next screen. However, I am only interested in data from mailboxes at the moment. On this screen I can specify keywords the tool will look for in emails and other items. Below, by adding conditions, I can export only the elements from this year, below a certain size, etc. However, I want to export all content, so I don't change anything and click search. The search is performed and will take a while depending on how many elements need to be scanned. When it's finished, the option to export results shows up. I click it. I leave the default options as changing the first one sometimes causes PST files to be corrupted. The second option causes the tool to create separate PST files for each mailbox. I prefer it this way because it makes it easier to import items back when necessary. OK. As everything is set, I start the export. After it's finished, I choose to download exported results. Next, I copy the key and start the export tool. Now I have to paste the key I've just copied and select the location used to store the downloaded files. That's all. For every mailbox that wasn't empty, there is a separate file that can be easily imported using Outlook Import tool. If you want to use this method to back up your mailboxes, you can see that this workaround may become a bit problematic in the long run. If you want to back up your data automatically, easily browse through the copies and recover whole mailboxes, selected folders or single items, download a free trial of code to backup. Click the link on the screen to learn more. Thanks for watching.